I've made this short video for schools, for teachers, teaching assistants and SENCOs who are asking the question, the Maths for Life programme, how does it work? And I thought it's best to actually do it in a video and be able to show you exactly how it all pieces together. So the first question is, is this suitable for the child or the student that I'm working with? The Maths for Life programme is suitable for any child who struggles to keep up with the current curriculum on a, with their peers on a year to year basis. It is for any child with additional needs who is currently working at the early years foundation stage or within the key stage one stage. Foundations and level one are the current levels that are published and level two is in progress and should be available in the next couple of months. All of that contains uh, content that's within the curriculum of Key Stage 1. Although the Maths for Life programme was inspired by my son Lance, who has indeed got Down syndrome, it's not just for children with Down syndrome, it has got a wider reach. The content and the characters I try to design are age neutral. The characters can look like they are 6, 16 or 26. This is to reflect that there are students currently working within the realms of book one that range from age four right up to 27. So there are a lot of young adults who are working in the content as well. The easiest way to see whether or not the child that you're working with would fit within the levels currently available is to download for free the baseline assessments that have been provided through Project Baseline. Earlier this year, the Maths for Life together with Down Syndrome Oxford launched a year long pilot to work with 27 students and families through the Maths for Life program, introducing them and supporting them and engaging them throughout the year. To evaluate the program, we needed a way of assessing what the starting point was for each of the children. We created baseline assessments. These baseline assessments have now been made available to the open community for free and therefore teachers, TAs, teaching assistants and SENCOs are free to download those two assessments, one for foundation level, one for level one. If you complete them thoroughly, you can send the results to me for logging as part of Project Baseline, which is a research project that I'm hoping to gather a lot more information about attainment and independence in maths for children with learning difficulties. How do I assess the starting point for a child? Indeed, Project Baseline and those baseline assessments are an excellent way of assessing the starting point of a child. When you do the baseline assessments, each of the pages, each of the questions have a nomenclature in them that relates directly to the book and to the resource library. Therefore, you can actually use the baseline assessment to do a gap analysis and look at the skills that they are finding difficult and concentrate on them. How do I use the book? The book is the text, the textbook. It gives you the insight into each of the topics broken down at an incremental level. It explains what the topic is about, what prior skills you need to have before attempting the objective, the objective broken down into manageable chunks, and it gives a list of ideas for teaching. The final bit of every section is known challenges for students with additional learning needs, which is very useful to see common traits that we find. Each of the sections of the book have got a similar nomenclature as the nomenclature used in the project baseline. So when you do your gap analysis, it's very easy to find the reference section in the textbook. How does the book relate to the resource library? The nomenclature used in the book is exactly paralleled in the resource library. If you're working on a topic within the book, you can go to the same section in the resource library and find the workbooks, resources, the templates that are all fitting for that topic. For example, F0.2 relates to foundation level, topic zero and objective two which is identify, same and different. It will be the same in the baseline assessment, to the book, to the resource library. 
Another example is F1.23, foundation level, topic one, objective 23, which is simple whole number subtraction. It will be the same in the baseline assessment, the book and the resource library. F2.39, foundation level, topic two, objective 39. Understand simple positional language. Again, you will find a nomenclature on the baseline assessment, in the book and in the resource library. The final example is F3.42. Foundation levels, topic three, objective 42. Sort and classify. Again, it will remain consistent through the baseline assessment, the book and the resource library. The Maths for Life programme consists of using the book as a text, using the assessments to understand exactly where a child is with regard to their attainment and independence, and using the resource library to supplement workbooks, resources, templates, for use every day in the classroom. What else does the Maths for Life programme offer? The subscription also gives you access to a community forum. On that forum, all members have the ability to share and support each other, completely private and secure. You also get access to lots of videos of myself modelling maths with my son Lance. And of course, you get me. You get me to support you through this process of understanding how to unpick maths and teach it at the level that the children need. Thank you for watching. If you have any additional questions, please contact me at learn at mathsforlife.com. Thank you.